What is up? So we just pulled up to the pond. All I brought was my bait caster and a frog. No other lures, but it's been a minute since I've caught one on a frog, so I'm gonna try to catch at least one on this one. So let's do it. All right, let's try along the bank real quick. First cast. Bro, I just tossed it and as soon as it hit, something blew up on it. But I haven't set the hook or anything. So I think it's still. <laughs> Holy crap. It's a solid little one. It's like a pound, maybe pushing, pushing two maybe. Choked it. Well, I guess not really, but right on the lip, on the corner. Yeah, so I was fishing here. I tried this edge and nothing. And then I threw it right there. And as soon as it hit the water, something busted up on it. And that something was this little guy. It's a nice one. All right, got the frog out. Let's let her go. I think they just cut the grass. Came recently, so that's kind of their cover right now. All right, so I threw it just on the edge. Like right, not there. Oh, what the? Did y'all see that? I think something took it. I feel like tension on it, but I don't feel any fighting. Yeah, nothing. That was crazy, like as soon as it hit the water. That's how that first one hit it, like instantly. I didn't even want to cast it there. But yeah, I was just showing y'all how I got it. I think that one was a little one. It wasn't as big of a blow up, but Yeah, that was pretty bad. You see that? Oh, this one took it. Oh my gosh. I think I saw a glimpse of it right there. It was small. Maybe that's why they don't. Okay, I don't know. Maybe that one I set the, I tried to set it too quick. Eh, it's probably the same size or a little smaller. I guess they're, they're stacked right there or something. Okay, that one took it. That one's running with it. I think. I actually don't feel anything. Nope. Damn, I got, they just hit it, but they're missing it, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. All right, let's try there a few more times. Cause like every cast, I've pretty much been getting hit. Oh, that was bad. What the, did y'all see that? That was a bad, like hopping it. I was hopping it pretty bad. And then like, right when I said that was bad. <sighs> Woo, this one got it pretty good. Look at that right there. I got him twice. That first one, I only hooked it once. This one looks a little bigger. Got one out. This last one doesn't want to come out as easy. There we go. H2O Express Frog, the Macademy brand ones. Don't sleep on them.
and go turn into a five pounder. Yes, sir. So I've been having a lot of luck on under the, the thick pad right here. Pretty sure it'd be good like in the shade as well. Cause usually when it's like sunny and hot, they seek shade or go deep. Holy crap. Like I threw it and I was jumping it back this way. And then uh, something went after it, but missed it. Cause I was doing it pretty fast. That one, that one sounded pretty, pretty big. Like right around there, I think just blasted to it, but missed it. I was bringing it back pretty fast though. So probably that's why I was like, like that. Just gotta see what triggers them. Sometimes slow, barely twitching it. Or maybe sometimes more fast and violently. Oh, I don't know if he took it or not. I haven't set the hook or anything. I don't, oh no, my frog is right there. It came back to the top. Gotta get this water out. I mean, it's good having water in it cause it's a little heavier, but then it also starts sinking. So that's the bad thing about it. Oh, that one took it. I'm gonna wait a little bit. No. Oh, I suck. I like felt a tug on it. So I was like, yeah, he's on it. And then I tried to set it. Cause I know you're not supposed to set it immediately. You gotta wait like a few seconds, like maybe two or three. But maybe those are just dinks. I don't know. All right, let's just try a few more times. And if nothing, there's like another set of pads down there. Thick mat. We can try it over there. And, oh! Ah! I suck, bro. Like that one, I, I, I could feel it, that it had it in his mouth for a little bit. Like it was running with it. But... I choked again. It's kind of hard setting the hook on him, I guess. Oh, I'm not touching anything. I'm spinning it. I don't think he took it. I don't feel anything. Yeah, see, my frog is right here. Oh my. Oh, what the heck? Look, I see my frog is just floating right there. Like they hit it and then that's it. All right, we are heading out now. Got pretty hot. This is what we were using. Abu Garcia Black Max with 20 pound power pro braid and then a snap swivel uh you probably don't need that but i just had it so i just put the frog on it and then the h2o express frog from academy probably like three bucks or something it's pretty good but yeah i was probably out for like maybe 45 minutes to an hour around there got two fish and then missed like 10 but it's still pretty fun that's the hard part about frog fishing. All right, so we are back out here. It's a few days later. As you can see, it cleared up pretty good. There's not as much stuff uh, up on top like that one day. I mean, there's still a few pads or like mats right here, but not as much as that one day. And I'm going to be throwing top water again. This is the frog that I was using last time, H2O Express Popping Frog. There's like a ton of different ones that I want to try out. There's like this turd looking one. I think it's by Live Target. There's also this little mouse thing. 
Here's a similar one to the one I was using last time, except the pop-in mouth thing is a little smaller. There's also this one. I've caught some on this one. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. See? But yeah, we'll see which one we do first. But yeah, let's do it. Alright, first one up is the turd. I don't think I ever caught anything on it. That's why I want to just try it and mark this off my my tackle box let's just try the same spot oh dang that was like right on the edge <laughs> oh my gosh well, first cast and something blew up on it. I don't know if you missed it or something, but I know the frog went under. I waited like two seconds and I just yanked it. But I suck at this. I'm not too experienced with frogs. He's got some pretty nice action. It's like those walking dogs or whatever they're called. Walking the dog type of lures. Just go side to side. I think the only bad thing about this is that it gets filled up with water real quick. And then it just starts sinking. Let's try a little closer over here. Start all the way on those mats down there. Oh, look, see, it took it, it took it. It's running with it. It's still running with it. Damn it. Hex, no. See. I think I almost broke my rod too. Like the tip of the line hit hit that post right here. Yeah, but just flipped the frog over. <sighs> All right, my rod's still good. Dang. I don't think it's that hard fishing with frogs. I think the hardest part is just getting them to to hook on. Oh, see, there's another one. Yeah, I don't feel anything. I think you just hit it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? That's like three blow-ups, I guess four blow-ups if you count that small one. Four blow-ups on the turd. Holy crap. Okay, that one's running with it. Never mind. Yep, it's swimming with it. Oh snap. Let's go. She just straight slammed it. Like as soon as it hit the water, let's let her go. Where is she? I think it's swimming this way somewhere. 
Mission accomplished. All right, so here are the two frogs that I used. This is the one I used on day one, the H2O Express from Academy. It's like $3 and something cents. And then the, the Lunker Hunt Froglet, I think that's what it's called. It's like, like almost double the size. It looks like a turd. That's what I call it. I mean, it's pretty hard to catch a fish on this, I'd say, but I got one. And then I leave a link to the rod reel line and all that stuff down below. So if you have questions about that. I don't know if I can see Maggie's over there. Well, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.